Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode we are going to make a crafting system kind of like in Minecraft. Let's get started. The first step is to go to the description of the video and find the crafting interface. Once you have it in your game we can get started. Let's open up the craft GUI and craft frame and let's open local craft handler. And this is the first script that we will be scripting. First we need to get our objects. Let's get the item frame by doing script dot parent wait for child item frame. Let's get the craft button by doing script dot parent wait for child craft button. Okay. And let's find the replicated storage service by using game get service. Let's do the same for lighting. Let's get our modules by using require replicated storage wait for child recipes. Make sure to spell these words correctly. Very important. Let's also get the icons module, which is also under replicated storage, which for child icons. Let's get the crafting button, which is inside the script. As you can see, there we go. Let's get the local player. And let's get the player's values, which are located inside the player. And we have to wait for them to load. Let's make a variable called current recipe and equal to nil. Let's make a new function called local function get values. And let's clone the player's values so we can use them to check if the player has enough of the selected materials. Yep. Yeah. Let's make another one called local function get material values material for index value impairs else do get a value equals material then return that value because we found that exact value and if there's nothing we can just return no or like, also known as nothing. Okay so let's make a new function called player frame let's do current recipe equals nil if if lighting find first child, craft blur, then lighting craft blur destroy. So we are making a blur that will be used in the interface. Okay. For i equals one to nine, do this is because we have nine frames in the crafting system. Okay. Local found frame equals item frame to string i. And as you can see, inside the item frame we have nine different frames. Found frame dot item label dot text type dot visible equals false. Let's copy this paste down below and set this to icon label okay let's make another function called local function show recipe recipe so let's clear the frame current recipe equals recipe sorry sorry let's see recipe local clone vals equals get vals local recipe achieved equals true local blur equals instant dot new blur effect and our blur dot name equals craft blur blur dot size i'm gonna set it to 20 so you can decide Whatever you want. Blur parent equals light. And our script parent visible equals true. And then we do for index material in pairs recipe dot needed do local found frame equals item frame to string index and dot found frame dot item label dot text equals material local found image equals icons module dot icons material. And if we found an image, we can display that image so uh, icon label dot image equals rbx asset id colon and uh, slash slash dot, dot found image dot image and found frame found yeah sorry found found frame okay found frame very important so dot icon a label dot visible equals true copy this line do it. oh true do it else and false and uh found frame dot item label dot visible equals true local found material equals clone valves and that material. In this point we are checking if this player has enough of the selected material to craft. So that's what we are doing. So if it's less or equals to zero then recipe achieved equals false because he cannot craft this obviously. And uh found frame dot item label dot text color three equal color sorry color color three dot, dot from RGB to one eight zero zero I want the red color that's right. So found frame dot icon label dot image color three equals and then the same color and then do an else else and just copy these down here and set the color to 255 255 255 that's that's white that's rgb language for white we can we can say so let's do found material dot value minus equals one and then if not recipe achieved then craft button dot visible equals false else craft button equals true and uh Let's do let's see, uh, clone valves equals nil or nothing. So do local function show buttons for recipe name, recipe pairs, recipes model dot module dot recipes 
do local button equals crafting button close. Sorry, crafting button very important do not write craft button okay button dot name equals recipe name and button dot text equals the same thing and button dot button dot parent equals script dot parent dot parent dot container dot scrolling frame and button dot visible equals true and when this button has been pressed we can show this recipe so basically crafting that item so there should be there we go and then down here after these two ends let's find find this scrolling frame paste it in we have to make a size calculate a size for how many different crafting things there are so one zero one zero hashtag scroll you got children minus one times crafting button dot size dot y dot offset plus four because we have an offset of four okay so for value in pairs vals get children do val get property change to signal value connect function if current recipe then show recipe and uh, current recipe and uh, craft button uh, mouse button one click connect function if current recipe then rs dot craft craft object and uh, fire server current recipe let's clear the frame let's do script dot print dot visible equals false let's make a new one for the uh, script dot print dot exit button clear frame script dot print dot visible equals false let's make a new show buttons down at the bottom okay so as you can see we have a remote event called craft object and it's not there so let's make a new one on the replicated storage remote event and let's call it craft object let's go to server script service and let's insert a module script and let's call this recipes model well let's see what's it called it's called recipes sorry recipes guys name it recipes let's duplicate and call it icons and in the icons we are going to make model the icons equals and this is where you will put your icons so if you want any icons you have to put them here okay very important so we I already have some images let me, let me show you guys they, these are my images that I'm using already so you can just copy them if you want to and if you want more materials just paste them in here just make a semi bracket and then do it and this is the wrong script sorry this is supposed to be in the icons so this is the recipes and let's change these recipes to so icons this is icons okay model dot recipes equals and then word equals parenthesis thing reward equals and I want the classic word to be the reward classic word and that uh, one one of those semi bracket and needed equals and now we have nine different frames that we can use like in minecraft and this are, these are the different things i will be using in the different frames so one two three yeah and let's just make another one just to test so semi bracket or comma down here let's just make this one as well just so we have some more okay now let's make a new script let's call it craft handler so Craft handler. Okay, and uh, let's drag both modules into this script. Very important. Let's get the players service. And let's get the replicated storage as well. And let's get the server storage. So local recipes module equals get worker dot recipes. Uh, if you do have any experience with the modules. This might seem wrong that we don't use require, but we will. Just give me a second. Okay, so let's see. Local recipes equals require script with child recipes. And uh, local icons equals require script with child icons. So the reason I do this is because I want to copy the modules to the to the client, to the player. Okay. And icons module clone equals rs. And local values equals. And in here, put all the different materials. So we have stone and wood. Make sure to spell them the same way as in the icons and recipes. Okay, so let's do and stone okay so now we have wood and stone let's do local function get values and this is the same one as in the local one so we can just go and copy it let's see copy it and uh paste okay sorry and bounce players.player added connect function player local folder 
equals commitment.me folder in that folder.name equals values. For value in pairs, values do. So we are making one value for each of these over here. So equals instant.new with value in dot name equals value in dot parent equals folder and dot folder dot parent equals player and dot rs wait for child craft object dot unserve event function player recipe local clone vals equals get vals and dot player dot values local recipe achieved. So this is kind of similar to the one we already did, but this is for the server. So for index material in pairs recipe dot needed do local found material equals clone vals material the found material dot value is less or equals to zero then recipe achieved is false let's copy this and minus equals one so if the recipe achieved then for each of the materials in the recipe dot needed do local found material equals player dot values material found material dot value minus one equals one and uh for reward name amount in pairs recipe dot award sorry yeah sorry reward do local found reward ss dot craft craft sorry craft find first child reward name if found reward then for i equals one to amount do found reward and clone dot parent equals player dot backpack so let's just add a random sword I'm just going to do this one okay. and just drag it into server storage. Let's make a new folder called crafts. And as you can see, this word is called classic sword, the same as in the recipes, classic sword. And I want two swords. Okay. Now it's time to test. So let's see. So as you can see, we have the cheap sword. Let's see down here. Something happened. Oh my God. Guys, added text color, it's text color three. Let's get this word. And as, as you can see, I don't have the materials. So let's click this to change to the server. Let's find the players and go to values, stone and wood. Let's put them at 20 each. Let's go back. And now you can see I have the uh, materials. So let's click plus. And I just got a sword. And, that's, and for the cheap sword, we will get two. Yeah, let's get some more swords. And as you can see, now I don't have enough anymore. So I cannot craft. But the cheap sword, I can. And But now, not anymore. So that's basically it for this tutorial. So as you can see, in icons, you can put the icons of the materials. In the recipes, you can make your own recipes for your own tools. So that that's everything you need to make your own crafting system. Thank you guys very much for watching my video. Have a great day.